Nuri joins me now. It's so good to see you. You too. So good Thank to see you. you for having me. Um, so this is people all know the term Stockholm syndrome, but this movie that this is where it came from. Yeah, isn't it? The, 1973 the in Stockholm. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, exactly because you know the, your character was taken hostage. Yeah, and kind of well, there was a relationship. -ish. Yeah. Yes, kind ish. of. Yeah, <laughs> um, there was traces of a sex yeah. in the bank vault, so they they, they do know that there was like some wow. kind of sexual thing happening. Extraordinary, isn't and it? and my character, yeah, she fell in love with the with the robber. Absolutely, Mark. Well, you've got two cracking male leads there. You've got Ethan Hawke, yeah. as we saw, yeah. Mark Strong, our very own Mark I adore Strong. Him, too. Yeah. I send it to Mark Strong, right. who read it, called me back, is like, I'm in. So it was like a total passion project. Fantastic. Now you started off um, as an actress in Iceland, wasn't yes. it? Yes. I know you were Swedish, but you did some... I'm half Spanish, half Swedish. It's a beautiful mix. Icelandic stepdad, so yeah. Wonderful. I love that. Yeah. I think it's great. <laughs> it's really good. So you can speak all these different languages. You start off in Iceland. Obviously, we saw you, you made movies in Sweden. And then, was it Prometheus that there was the big, giant Hollywood movie? Um, actually, it was Sherlock Holmes with, ah, of with course, Jude of and, course. and Rob. Right, and that's when, yeah. that's when you came to their notice. Yeah. See, what I like about you is it's you're... the first time I came to London, actually. I know. And you yeah. love London, don't I you? I love... I like... It's my favourite city. Ah, oh, that's good yeah. to know. I live, like, basically five minutes from the studio. Wonderful. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. So this is home now. Yeah, it is yeah, home. Yeah, it is home. But what I love about you is you're a chameleon. You know, every movie that you're in, you're completely different. Sometimes you look completely different. Yeah. Never have my own issues or my own vanity kind of stand in the way between me and the character. So whatever I need to do, I can yeah. gain weight. I can lose weight, I can be more kind of boyish, manly, yeah, more yeah. feminine. Sure. Yeah. And you don't mind, I love that lack of vanity. I think yeah. it's wonderful. And you it's do... a decision, you know? Yeah. You know, when I started off when I was 20, I remember I did a film and I saw it and I was like, oh my days, <laughs> I look horrible. <laughs> and then I had to like, okay, just have a very serious talk to myself and say, it's not about beauty, it's not about perfection, sure. it's not about what you look like, it's about something way more important. Yeah, exactly, and that makes perfect, perfect sense. Mm -hmm. And you do your own stunts, you do things like that, you, yeah. you, you don't... I mean, that again, that's real commitment to a role when you yeah. do that. Yeah, I had my nose broken, a toe broken, uh, yeah, ribs. It's, it's like my body's a map of scars nowadays. A map of scars, <laughs> suffering for your art. But I'll tell you what's really good as well. You know, the, the, it must be quite daunting because you do the work and you do the film and the film comes out and that's fantastic. But then, obviously, you have to do a whole red carpet thing. Mm -hmm. And again, you, you, you do your own thing. Yeah, I find, like I always, when I was a kid, you know, I always, I was playing with boys. I always felt really, you know, kind of more free with boys. And mm -hmm. I don't like that girls and women are quite often like squeezed into this box where we need to look a certain way and we need to sure. be likable, uh, first of all, you know? And I was yeah, like, mm, yeah, no. I, <laughs> I love this, you're so refreshing. It's oh, fantastic. What's the next thing that you're doing? What is this, what's going to be after um, this? Basically, I'm shooting a movie in Iceland. I oh, just wrapped really? another movie in New Orleans. Okay. In, that takes place 1959. So I was playing this housewife who goes mad <laughs> in New Orleans. And then okay. I flew to Iceland and I'm doing my first Icelandic movie since I was seven. Oh, brilliant. It's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful country. Yeah. Absolutely. Very, very. And then I just lo launched my perfume a week ago in London. So now, this is exciting. something that you... This is not just, oh, here we are. I'm, I've become a very famous woman, so I'm just going to put my name no. to this scent. You've been doing this since you... For years. It's been something... Because you yeah. say that smells are really important to you. And you yeah, I grew up... I mean, on a farm. Yeah. And I remember when I left the farm, I was 15 and I was living in Stockholm, far from my family, and I missed my, my sister's smell. I know what you mean. Not her face, it was like her <laughs> smell. <laughs> and then um, I, let, I missed my, my horse and the smell of his, of his face. Yeah. Because that was the only place where I could show emotions mm. when I was a kid, right? So, I, and I could never find a fragrance that kind of matched my personality. Mm. And I felt like all the female fragrances were so sticky and sweet when I grew up. So, I, and I always, as I said, I felt like a tomboy a bit. So I created basically a toolbox for people like me. And it's all unisex and you can, what? it's a, like a layering concept. Oh, okay. So if you feel a certain way in the morning, you know, you might want to have maybe a lighter smell and then you go for a lunch meeting and you want to have a bit more intensity, make an like, impact on yeah, the one yeah, you're yeah. meeting. And then in the evening, maybe you go on a date and you want to be more sexy. So you can like play with it. That makes so it's just pure perfect passion. sense. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Nimi, you're a tonic, an absolute tonic. Monique, you really are. The captor opens in cinemas tomorrow. Yes. So you can see it tomorrow. It's a fascinating movie and it's, it's really funny. 
funny. It's, <laughs> it's funny. It's really, really Ethan funny. Ethan Hawke is so funny. Oh, it's, 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 it is hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. Thank you. Thank and you. And good luck with everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you so much.